While this chapter has discussed some of the easiest medications and some of the simplest of disorders, we've been applying our knowledge to more complex medications and conditions, so we've really started building one of the best possible foundations for a career in healthcare. And we've also started to develop a really good safety strategies as well. For instance, we've learned to gain a general understanding of the condition for which the medication is being prescribed and to ensure that no problems arising from that condition should be addressed. For instance, if somebody had a really severe constipation, we know what to look for, those red flags, to make sure that the person doesn't have an intestinal blockage. An intestinal blockage can be life-threatening, especially if somebody takes a laxative because there's going to be an increased movement in the GIT, there's going to be increased fluid in the GIT, and all of that can contribute to an intestinal rupture, and that could lead to peritonitis, hospitalization, and even death. But the most important thing that we're learning is that there's nothing to be afraid of about learning about medications. Learning about medications and developing good clinical reasoning skills is a real challenge for just about everybody, but it can be fun and rewarding as well. You've taken those first steps at developing a best foundation in medicine, so give yourself a big pat on the back and start looking forward to the next chapters where we begin understanding some challenging topics in pharmacology. We'll see you there.